exactly is Hawes syndrome? Okay, so you know that little membrane, sometimes whitish or pinkish, you might glimpse occasionally in the corner of your cat's eye. Uh-huh, the third eyelid. Exactly. Well, Haas syndrome is when that third eyelid becomes really visible, and importantly, it happens in both eyes and stays visible. Not just a quick flash, then. It sticks around. Precisely. Yeah. And that third eyelid itself, it's totally normal. It's like a built-in protective shield. Helps keep the eye moist, too. Okay, so the eyelid itself is fine. It's just out when it shouldn't be. What causes that? Well, here's where it gets interesting. A lot of the time, the specific cause is um, unknown. We call that idiopathic. A bit of a mystery then. Kind of, yeah. But there's a very common association, uh, a link with gastrointestinal problems, especially like diarrhea. Wait, hang on. Cummy issues making the third eyelids pop out. That sounds pretty disconnected. How does that even work? It does seem weird, right? But the theory, and it's a strong one, involves the autonomic nervous system. Okay. That's the body's sort of automatic control center. Think breathing, heart rate, and also the tiny muscles controlling that third eyelid. A disturbance, maybe triggered by something like a bad bout of diarrhea, can affect this system. Ah, so the gut problem sort of sends ripples through the nervous system, which then affects the eye muscles. That seems to be the most likely connection, yeah. It's quite fascinating how systems interact. Definitely. So for listeners, what are the signs? What should they be looking for? The number one sign is seeing that third eyelid clearly visible in both eyes, you know, in the inner corner, and it stays there. Both eyes, consistently. Got it. And uh, often you might notice the cat also has digestive upset, like the diarrhea we mentioned, around the same time. Okay. Does it affect their sight? It potentially could, yeah. I mean, if the eyelid covers a large part of the pupil, it might impair their vision somewhat. Right, makes sense. So someone sees this, they take their cat to the vet. How does the vet actually diagnose it as Haws and not, say, an eye infection or injury? Crucial question. The vet will do a full clinical exam, obviously. They'll see the bilateral protrusion that's key. Then they need to rule out primary eye problem. Like conjunctivitis or something. Exactly. Or injuries, foreign bodies, glaucoma, stuff affecting the eye structure itself. They might do an ophthalmic exam, look closely at the eye. And I read something about a uh, phenylephrine test. Yes. The phenylephrine challenge. Basically, they put a drop of this medication in the eye. It stimulates certain muscles. Okay. If the third eyelid retracts back to normal or mostly normal after the drop, that strongly suggests the problem isn't a physical issue in the eye. It points towards that nervous system influence we talked about. Ah, okay. That's clever. So if the vet says, yep, looks like Haas syndrome, what happens next? Is there a treatment? Well, here's the generally good news. In many, many cases, Haas syndrome actually resolves all by itself. Really? Just goes away? Yeah, often it does um, without needing specific eye treatment. The main focus then becomes treating any underlying cause if one is identified. Like the diarrhea. Precisely. If you can resolve the GI upset, the Haas syndrome often clears up right along with it. Sometimes vets might use medication, but often it's a wait-and-see approach while managing any other symptoms. So patients and treating the gut, potentially. Pretty much. But... And this is important. What's the absolute key takeaway here for cat owners listening? See your vet, period. Even though Haas is often benign and self-limiting, you absolutely need a professional diagnosis.